No, dog, move. No, it was a wholesome moment a second ago. Why are you attacking me? Hi there, I'm Hart and you're probably wondering how I got here. It's a long story, so let me take you back from the beginning. We had to report the death of the dragon to the Jarl, so we headed back to the castle to inform him. Capable as she may be, I don't see any signs of her being this. If I shout at him, will I be in trouble? Not to go back to the of the First Empire. Oh. Ask you to stop. I bet no shouting oh. is oh, whoops. <laughs> After proving the fact that I am a dragonborn, they told me I needed to go to the Greybeards to learn about my real power. And uh, you're probably wondering why this is all relevant, but uh, trust me, it will be. Oh, we also met a companion called Lydia who will be uh, helpful later. You see that mountain over there? We're gonna climb it. On our journey up to the Greybeards, we found a settlement full of people. What a wonderful village. I hope nothing bad happens to it. In this village, we found a new drinking buddy. I understand. What do you want? What do you want? Got any ale or mead? Oh, there you go. It's got mead. There we go. My favorite drinking buddy. <laughs> oh, gone. Chug, 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 chug. You got this. There's nothing in your cup. What do you want? Yeah. Oh, he's, uh, oh no. And a good boy named Stump. <clears throat> Hello, Stump. Yeah, yeah, you, you say it. Yeah. <laughs> dear, dear Lord, Stump. I, you, that's, that's impressive. Yeah. Yeah, you, you are a good boy. Fearful for our life because of the godlike law bending dog, I quickly made my way up towards our goal, where we met a whole bunch of people. First, we came across a man on a horse. Gosh, there's lots of graves. <gasps> oh, can we steal his horse? Not that I want to, of course. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Good for you. Why? Why are you so British? And then this Kahit, Kahit, Kajit, Kajit, who was selling some unusual wares. What are you talking about? The finest skooma. Hmm, this doesn't seem legal. Ah, snitch, eh? Uh-oh. You ran into any guards now, can I? Uh, okay, okay, yeah, f fine. Well, you've... Uh, wait, can we get... Him oh, <laughs> I, 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 I... Ah! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Get away from me! Except for the murderous sidekick, we were doing quite well. Oh, until yeah. suddenly. At a... Dwarven place? Is it dwarves? It might... Oh no. My game crashed. I can't believe it. Are we really back here? Ah. Uh... As the game restarted, I decided to go through a different route, through a bandit hold, which we cleared quite quickly. Which is the kind of- oh! <laughs> is that guy okay? Is that the best you can do, he says as, he, as we put a uh, sword in his side. And we arrived in this beautiful city, only to find out this isn't where we were supposed to go. We had to climb the mountain. <sighs> so we climbed. And we climbed, and we climbed. Because this this must be super fun and engaging content. Until we finally met the Greybeards. And uh, I'll be honest, they rambled on a bit. They kept saying how special I was. Kind of like how my mum did before bad news. Anyway, we learnt about the second world of power, and we were asked to demonstrate it on a dummy. Force, rock. <laughs> move, move out of the way. Force, rock. Yeah, do you want to move? Or are you, are you fine there? They refused to give us a third word of power though, so I was pretty miffed and I left quickly. I have made an error. <laughs> I channeled my inner mountain goat to slowly yeah, but surely head my way we're, down the mountain. We're, we're fine. We are fine. We're, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. There we go. Oh gosh. That, that's why you don't skip leg day. Anyways, we went north towards the snow where we came across a slayer of beginners. A frost troll. A giant beast that could easily two-shot any foe. I took all preparations needed. Right. T t wait, wait, hang on. 
Don't mind me. And went into battle. Oh, you're, you're going after her. Okay, that actually might be good for me. Oh, well, that's the wrong one. No. Oh my gosh, did she die? Is he stuck? Guys, I'm playing Sky. <laughs> I'm playing Skyrim, guys. Wow, we are playing the game. <laughs> we we just played the game. A loss of a companion is harsh on anyone. We gave her a proper burial. Anyway, Lydia, no! Are you dead? And went on through the harsh winter we do. until we hit another hole where we tried the sneaky method of infiltration. Hang on. These thralls of yours are slower than Argonians in a. Someone there. No one's here. No one's here. I promise you, no one's here. Okay. Fought some skeletons. I hope I'm not walking into something bad. Oh no! No no no! <gasps> and did some smart moves throughout. It tasted of apple. Wait, what's to stop me going? I'm gonna do what's called a pro gamer move. Oh, it is actually a lot longer than I thought it is. But at the end, we found this note. Rent the attic room at the sleeping giant inn in the Riverwood and I'll meet you. See where I'm getting at now? We entered Riverwood to be met by two people in a very weird dress. And well, uh, I'll pass it to past heart to explain. Mirak appears. All shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him. You tell him, dog. Oh, we're fighting? Oh, they're just killing people. No, dog, move. Everything's happening. I I was there was a wholesome moment a second ago. Oh no. Why are you attacking me? I didn't do anything. It's them. It's them. It's them, I swear. It's not me. It's not me. You set a dog on fire. I didn't mean to No please, why? I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything, I swear. Wait, are you dead? <laughs> guys, guys please. Guys please, I saved you. I saved you. I saved the day. I saved the day. So yeah, we got jumped on by cultists and accidentally attacked the village people. There, you've expelled me from the village. Is that is that enough? Now, I don't mind being labelled a potato thief, but I will not be remembered as a slaughterer. So I went in hoping to make some amendments and do my quest. No, oh no, oh no, no no, no no no, I didn't mean to. Oh, everyone's here now. Uh... Okay, you see this lady here, the person who jumped us? She's the person who's supposed to give us the quest. She's trying to kill me. Not great. So I went out the village once more and assessed my options. Stump, you stay there. Good boy. No, bad boy. Bad boy. Bad boy. Bad boy. I decided the best That's way to get in life. was to sneak in and try and contact a guard. You have committed crimes against Skyrim oh. and her people. What say you in your defense? Oh, forgive me, Thane. I didn't realize it was you. We'll look the other way this time, but even the Jarl's influence has its limits. Be more careful. <sighs> so we re-entered the village, had a little dance with the bard, and got the quest from the lady who left the letter in the dungeon. She let us down into her basement, which, uh, knowing what happened earlier, wasn't the smart thing to follow along. He could leave a body here for decades and it wouldn't be found. Anyway, she told us she wants to kill a dragon, which is fun, so we accepted. We headed towards the meeting point, Oh, and we saw this big dragon named Aldwin, who insulted us. Such arrogance to dare take for yourself the name of Nova. I, I didn't mean to. And resurrected another dragon. Hold on. Uh oh. Uh oh. Gosh, he was a bit rude. I hope we don't see him again. Ah! The dragon Hello, tried dragon. its best to freeze us. But we were too strong. With our fire skills and Delphine sniping, we grounded him and finished him off with a final blow. Oh! Yeah! I did do it! And that's how we slayed our second dragon. Thank you for watching.